Hi again. I, I'd like to continue talking about um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and continue our discussion of responsive design. Um, in the last video, I set up some boxes here that are, you know, 33% wide, and they have a 1M margin. And you can see the, the window here as I drag it, you know, left and right here. You know, the boxes scale to a different size. Um, and they always fit, right? So my my thing here now is that, um, you know, I like what I have here, but when the window is this wide, I feel like the width of the entire, you know, group of boxes is too wide, okay? I'd rather have it stop about here and here, right? Um, but then when it gets smaller than that, I want them to be able to shrink, okay? Um, so how do we deal with that? Well, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll go back to our HTML document. And these are the boxes that I have, these divs called box. And what I want to do is I want to add another div here. Oops. Um, and uh, let's tab these guys, right, and close it here. So what I want to do is I want to create a div that will contain all of these boxes here, okay? So now they're all inside this container. And then let's give that div a class name called container, okay? And now what are we going to do with container? Well, I want container to be a certain width. Like, I want it to have a maximum width. I don't want it to be wider than a certain amount, maybe 900 pixels. But if it's smaller than 900 pixels, then that's okay, right? And then these boxes will all be 33% of whatever the width of this is. So the maximum is they'll be 33% of the 900, right? And if it's smaller than 900, then these will be 33% of, of what, what that is, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our style sheet and create a style for container. So there's container. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a width, okay? And if I give it a width here of, um, let's say, 900, right? That's what was our number, right? Um, then you'll see that when I, you know, load up the browser here, you can see it's uh, 900, right? Yeah, there we go, right? I was kind of zoomed in. So. so anyway, so there's 900 there. But now it stops here, and this looks a little goofy because I, I don't want it, you know, flushed left. I kind of want it in the center, right? So how do we get it to sit in the middle? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say margin auto. Okay, so margins, when we set them to auto, the left and right margin become equal. Okay, so they get an equal value. They get the leftover space, and it's divided on the left and right. The top and, and bottom margins don't do any, don't change when you set them to auto. Okay, so here I'm actually setting all four, <coughs> all four sides to auto, but the left and right now are going to be equal. And when the left and right margin is equal, then we get, you know, the margin amount here and here as the same. And, you know, we can inspect this and take a quick look in the inspector here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the metrics thing, right? And you can see that when I, you know, f go through these things here and find container, you can see that the, the margin is the orange value here, and it says 142, and this says 142, right? So um, you can see that they're equal. And then when I hover over this, um, actually, you know, it's not showing the margin. Usually it shows up as kind of an orange area, and you'll see it. But, uh, but anyway, you can see that they're equal, right? And so when they're equal, then, you know, it kind of forces the whole thing to be in the middle. So that works pretty good for us. But now when I shrink the size of the window, the boxes don't shrink because, you know, they're in a container and it's 900 wide, right? So it's always 900. So how are we going to fix that? Okay, so I'm going to change this. Instead of doing width 900, I'm going to change it to max width 900. So max width says that the, the width of this element can be, you know, anything but not greater than or, you know, have it, it has a maximum value of 900, okay? So it can be smaller than 900 and it can be any value in there, but after 900, this is the maximum, okay? So we'll try this. We'll switch that to max width. And then we'll go here and we'll look at our page and refresh. 
And now, you know, there's my max width of 900 because the window itself is much wider. And then as I shrink the window down, now you can see that the boxes are shrinking. They're getting smaller, right, to match the, w the width of the window, right? They're 33%. And then when they get wider, they start to grow. And when the window's wider than 900, then they stop and cap out at 900, right? Or really the container, we can't see it there. It's invisible, but the container maxes out at 900, okay? So anyway, so there's a little introduction to max width and, uh, um, you know, margin auto, right? And I hope that's useful.